Hi guys and welcome to what will be the first of many unboxings, I'm sure. Uh, I know sometimes unboxings can be a bit lame because it's just the same old thing over and over again, but this time I think I've got something a little bit different. I've gone out and ordered a whole bunch of lures off AliExpress. I'm not too sure how many people in Australia are buying lures online. I know I was a bit skeptical at first. It's a lot easier to go to the tackle store and, and talk to the guy and get some recommendations. But I wanted to try and get a whole bunch of lures in without breaking my wallet. So I, I went onto AliExpress and started trawling through all of the different types of lures that they have and trying to key in what I didn't have and what would be suitable for my rod. Mainly because I needed some, some heavier lures to suit my new rod. I got a, a 10 foot Daiwa Sensor Surf and it has uh, quite a heavier casting weight than my, my 7 foot rod. So I wanted to get in some lures that would complement the rod a bit and uh, you know, make the most out of it. Now a little bit about AliExpress. It can be a lot cheaper but the lead times are a lot longer. So even though I've spent maybe on average about $5 per lure here, I've had to wait two, three, sometimes even four weeks for the goods to actually arrive. So you just gotta keep that in mind, you know, you're, it's cheaper, but you're paying for a lead time basically. So I just had a bunch of stuff come in. And uh, why don't I talk a little bit about what's come in today. All right, so I got, three different types of lures. The first lure I'm going to talk about is, well, it's pretty fancy. It's a, uh, an imitation squid lure. It's a, a lure made to look like a squid. So you can see in the stills it's got that really arrow shaped head with the big eyes and the long tentacles, the long dangly tentacles. And uh, man, it's got massive hooks too. It weighs about 40 grams. Um, it's about 24 centimeters long and it does have a plastic smell but I don't think that's a bit of a worry. I'm hoping to use this squid lure to, uh, to target kingfish in Sydney. But I think maybe some uh, bonito and other pelagics will have a crack as well. On to the next lure. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is a, a long body minnow. I got two patterns uh, in this long body minnow. It's, uh, I got a, like a, a, pilchard, a pilchard pattern as you can see in the stills and then just like a a silver, blo silver body uh, black back there, uh, about 18 centimeters long and uh, 30 grams. Even though they're quite a big profile, I'm hoping that they've got a bit enough weight and they're slender enough to give me some casting distance. They, they do have a shifting weight, uh, a, cast, a shifting cast weight inside, so you can hear that. It's a shift, shifting weight. This one doesn't really have as much weight in it. As you can see, the, the difference in price gives you a difference in quality of hook and finish. So the cheaper one obviously has the cheaper hooks. I'm really looking forward to casting these around uh, the beach. So getting into the surf, getting casting into gutters and, and hooking up on a few tailor or salmon. And lastly, the last uh, set of lures that came was this uh, series of five metal lures. As you can see, I got uh, like a green, a silver and, and stuff like that. They're just like a little a fish pattern, small profile, 30 grams. They've got these tiny little hooks. So I don't think the hooks are gonna last. I think they're gonna, they're gonna bend out. But these lures are really cheap, so I'm, I'm not too worried about the, uh, the quality of the hook there. I can always replace that. I'm hoping to use as like a, a jig or even just like a straight retrieve. I mean, they don't really have much shape to them. I don't know if they're gonna give me too much uh, action, but they, they, they've got some nice shiny, shiny um, holographics on them. So I think I covered all the main aspects of these lures, so why don't we actually just get out onto the bay and see how they swim. Back to Botany Bay. Now, I, 
I've just stepped onto Bear Island uh, to get a little bit out of the wind so I can, I can film a bit more and talk to you guys. But it's quite rugged out here and quite windy, not what I was expecting. Um, when I looked at the forecast, it looked flat and very little wind, but that's not the case on the water. Uh, when I got here, I saw some whales out in the bay too, which is really nice, um, on their southern migration. They were doing a few jumps, and I saw a few babies do a few jumps as well, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to Bear Island to test out the casting of the lures, just because it's, it's a bit snaggy by the looks of things, and there's a bit too much swell. So I'm just going to walk, I'll probably walk around to a bit of a quieter spot, and, uh, and do, do the fishing there. So yeah, I just had to, I had to come here to get out of the wind, basically. So to be honest, I'm not expecting to really catch anything today. I'm, I'm not going to be targeting the, the heavy fish areas. Um, I just want to find somewhere nice and, nice and quiet, and maybe it has a, a deep ledge that I can um, safely try casting my lures off. I've never used a, a graphite surf rod before, or a surf or a rod this big. So I'm just trying to ease my way into it, take it a bit gingerly. Ah, uh, it looks like there's a bust up happening, or is that dolphins or something? Yeah, yeah, dolphins. Okay. So the dolphins are here again. So I've got to rig up a new leader. So I'm going to use 15 pound braid, just El Cheapo braid, and then uh, 20 pound uh, carbon as a leader, which is the one that I want. I always like uh, use my monofilament and then put it back on the spool. So I've got about six different bits of fluorocarbon in here, which is really quite silly. But I do tend to be quite silly. Saw you. Sorry, I'm just getting caught up watching dolphins again. Pretty. So the plan is to start off with that that squid squid shaped lure, and then uh, I'll, I'll go onto the minnows, and then the uh, the metal lures. I might just um, while I finish rigging up, I might just turn the camera off so I can save the battery. All right, see you soon. Okay, so we've come down to where we're actually going to fish from. It's uh, Pretty close to Bear Island, just just across the way. So that's that's Bear Island over there. So we were just on the other side over there, and uh, we were just out of the wind trying to fish because yeah, we're in probably the world's windiest spot, Port Botany. So I'm just going to come over here because I think there's a bit of a drop off here, more of a ledge, so I'm less worried about losing my lures. I just want to, I really just want to get a feel for them and a feel for the rod more than anything. So I'm just going to tie up and then and make a few casts. Alright, so I just got done fishing, well, casting the, uh, the squid lure around and uh, it was really good. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy, but only issues I'm having at the moment is it, it's uh, managed to get itself uh, waterlogged. So that's something that's gonna, I'm going to have to look into. I don't know, I probably have to try and figure out how I'm going to seal it up. Um, definitely seal up the other ones and uh, make sure I can keep it a floating lure. I guess that's a pretty small, pretty small issue, but it's something that I have to think about with uh, any future lures I'm going to get in and making sure I'm, I'm actually uh, waterproofing them before, <laughs> before using them. Okay, so I'll tie on the minnow now and um, I'll probably just tie on the, the nicer one and, and cast that around. I, might, I probably won't use both because they're both the same. They're the same minnow and I'm just worried that the cheaper one's going to leak. So I'll tie on the, uh, the, the good one and then uh, see how that goes. Just had to play around with this the minnow and I gotta say I'm very very happy I'm very impressed it's got a great action 
really good action and like you can use like a jerk bait or you know a wobble cast yeah cast brilliantly like heaps better than the than the, the squid shaped lure incredibly very visible underwater you can see it i could track it you know from my the cast point all the way back to the shore pretty much and yeah brilliant i love it i'm thinking about getting more of these now this so damn good i really like this pattern too so it'd be nice to get uh, more in a couple patterns but yeah i'm i'm very happy so i'm just going to try out the metal here for for a second and then uh maybe we'll try somewhere that might actually have some fish huh So it works exactly like you would expect a chrome lure to work, so it casts really well and just, yeah, retrieves well, I don't know. What more can you say? So, we'll call it quits for the video today. I am very happy with the, the lures. I'm going to put some links down below so you can uh, get some for yourself if you feel like you need to. I would definitely recommend the long minnow uh, and the metal lures as well because they're not a bad price for a metal lure but if you're going to get a, a, one of these lures, get this long casting minnow. It's an absolute dynamite lure. So like and subscribe if you enjoy this review. Uh, I've got a ton more lures to get through. I've had a whole bunch show up and I've got more coming so stick around. There'll be more lure reviews. And uh, without a doubt, I'm sure we'll get onto some fish at some point. Oh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>